this morning. Whether you shave your head, volunteer, or just simply donate, you could be a part of an amazing cause. Here with more on an organization you might want to hear about and how you can become involved in Albuquerque's St. Baldrick's is uh, Jenna Hall. Glad to have Jenna this morning. She's talking about the upcoming yes. event. Yes, yeah. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank this is huge. Me. I mean, it's done all over the country, St. Baldrick's. Start by describing what exactly it is. So St. Baldrick's is a nonprofit foundation that enables individuals to host head shaving events to raise money and awareness for childhood cancer research. And that's obviously something that a lot of people want to be plugged into is helping to find a cure. Yeah, that, yeah, definitely. There are over a dozen different types of childhood cancers, which are all very different from adult cancers. Mm -hmm. And funding for childhood cancer just isn't there. So St. Baldrick's is super, super important. To this is an interesting way, though, to approach fundraising. How did the head shaving thing all begin? Uh, you know, it just uh, started with an idea back in uh, 1999, and there was a head shaving in a Manhattan pub, and wow. from then it's just exploded. And you have a lot of different agencies, a lot of different organizations across the metro area and across the state participating in this, right? Can you tell us which ones those are? Um, yeah, definitely. Well, we ha we've had a ton of sponsors, and I don't want to go through a laundry yeah, list yeah, of them, but fine. yeah, we'd like to thank all of them. And um, we actually are chartered at UNM right now. We have a student organization called Lobos Love St. Baldrick, so we're thankful for all of those volunteers that have helped us out. Um, yeah, there's there's just so many people that have helped mm -hmm. us out. That's very cool. What can people expect at this event in Albuquerque? What's going on? Uh, yeah, so we have uh, some local musicians playing right at the mm -hmm. beginning. And then we're actually, this year, we're going to host our first annual uh, beard shave mm -hmm. right away, right at 1 o'clock. And then we're going to move into individual and group shaves. So it's not just the head shaving, it's the beard shaving. Yes. Yes. If you're already maybe losing your hair on top of your head and all you have is the mustache, I guess, if that's what people want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, we don't discriminate. Hair is hair. <laughs> that's right. How many people do you have signed up at this point to participate? Um, we have 59 shavies right now, okay. so maybe you could be the 60th. Maybe so. <laughs> and, and I mean, I, obviously you want dozens, right? How, what's the capacity? Yeah, um, I mean, one year we had over 220 shavies, so we're going to shave as many heads as we can get. That sounds great. All right, so the details on this, tell us exactly where and when it's all taking place, and then we'll get to maybe a few more details on the costs and that kind of thing. Okay, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah. So it's um, at UNM Children's Hospital, the Bill Richardson Pavilion. Mm -hmm. um, it starts at about noon. We're going to have some local music, and then we're going to dive right into beard shaving, head shaving, all at about 1 o'clock. All right, sounds good. Now, is there cost to participate in all of this? Yeah, yeah. So we like to request a minimum donation of twenty dollars just okay. to be a shady. And then, do people that participate usually get sponsors to kind of help them through? Like, if they're going to, is that how it works? Yeah, definitely. Especially people who sign up in advance. Especially females who sign up in mm -hmm. advance. Um, it's kind of like a process that you have to be like, okay, I'm shaving my head. I'm raising yeah. money. It's going to be worth it. Um, and then, but you can of course sign up the day of and do it as well. I've had a lot of folks in my, you know, their sort of friend circle that have participated in this in the past, mm -hmm. and they always come away very, very, feeling very fulfilled, right? Oh, yeah. Because it always goes to good, a good cause. Yeah, definitely. It all goes right back into UNMH, and there really isn't a feeling that is comparable to a St. Baldrick's event. Just everybody is so happy, and you know, the children at the hospital, that isn't a very happy place for them. No. But to host this event and just like bring up their spirits, even if it's just for a couple of hours on a Saturday, it makes mm -hmm. it all worth it. It really does. You said UNMH is benefiting, right? Yes. So the definitely. money goes there. Yes. All of it? Um, yeah, I think St. So what St. Baldrick says is turns um, the money from the event into grants that goes right back into whatever research the oncologist, pediatric oncologist there um, described. Very cool. All right, one more time run through where and when this is taking place and how people can get more information. All right, it's this Saturday mm -hmm. at the UNMH Bill Richardson Pavilion right, right outside of the UNM Children's Hospital. If you want more information, you can go to stbaldricks.org. And right there, the website, we had that yes. on there, and we'll have more online at krqe.com as well. Thank you, Jenna. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you so much. Nice talking you. with you. We'll be right back.